Bald. Bald. Tell me. Actually, he's got some hair. Who did this? <laughs> or I'll see you suffer the same fate. The man who delivered. Who, who delivered the coffer said. He said Sid paid him. Oh, he's pissed at the girl. He's gonna want revenge. I let you run amok with the rest of your rats, and this is how you repay me? Find out where he is. I'll crush him, flay him, rip out his heart, him, and all his filthy brood. Send every last war of hunter. Out. No! Yes! Yes, my lord. God, look at his muscles, bro. Only looking like Thanos. Benedicto. Awkward. Yep, sorry. I guess she's dead dead, right? Right? I don't remember exactly. I know she, like, died. Like, we took her, her, um, her, th I don't know the word is, um, and then she came, like, she was just, like, without powers, and then she, I guess she died for real, right? So she is dead dead, right? <laughs> From what I remember. Okay. Clive has gained control of the icon Ifrit, allowing access to new icon abilities such as ignition. Okay. Drives back enemies while dealing continuous damage as well as unlocking the limit break. Oh! Ooh! Limit break! Yes! Slots for Ifrit's abilities are shared with the with those of the Phoenix and can be confirmed via the abilities tab in the main menu. Nice! See that? This is what I wanted. The limit break. Yes! Beneath Clive's HP bar. Release Clive's inner beast and semi-prime to Ifri by repressing L3 and R3 when the gauge is full. Gotcha, gotcha, mate, gotcha. Okay. Pretty sick. So, what next? That's... We return to East Pool. I promised the mayor I'd talk to him again. About Lady Hannah, amongst other things. Though she may be loath to leave, I can't help thinking she'd be safer with Sid, too. All right. We should arrange an introduction, then. All right. If we channeled. <laughs> what is this? Ooh. Okay. Well, the whisks. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's cool, too. We have enough. Which one, chat? I think ignition, right? That looks cool. Okay. Do I need to equip this too? Alright, you know what? Here, let's do this. This. And then let's do... Ignition. So we have ignition and then we have flames of rebirth. Ooh, potion. Toggle, what is it? Oh. Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Oh my god. Look at the way he runs. He's going. He's going for it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? 
happened here? Uh, hey guys. Mind if I use my new shit on you? Ooh, that is cool. Remember our orders? No survivors. Yeah, you guys are doing a really good job. Best guards you got right here. Honestly, I'm kind of. Oh. Oops. Give them all you've got. Oh, how we're so cool now. I can't get over it. Am I missing something? <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Thought you could escape us, did you, Branded? You were born a slave and you'll die Ow. Kill all the Tuchel dogs! Tuchel dogs? They were innocent people! Oh fuck, I didn't see that there. You will not take me. That's enough. Let's go, batter up, bitch. Stay down. Ow. Them. By Empress Annabella's command. Oh my god, look at his pointy hat. <laughs> it's kind of funny. My mother ordered this. Why? Why? I know. It can wait. Ooh, yes, girl.
That was a lot. <laughs> so many things happening. I can't tell what's happening. <laughs> Sheesh. First try, boys. First try. Sorry, Lady Anna. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Gav! Clive! The homie Gav? Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. Fuck are you? Now, rats, lead me to your nest. Lord Kuka's message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> Homie's like plotting and laughing behind a box. <laughs> uh, back to the hideaway. Do 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 do. Alright. Sid, I've missed you! This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift... curse... Or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. You proud of us, Sid? It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. Squeak. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness, and in turn, salvation, can only begin with acceptance. God, I forget how must walk, deep his voice is. Colorful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place 
where people can live on their own terms. For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. He's changing. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? Hey, yo. That was the answer we found. The only one we need. She's touching my hand, Sid. you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, <laughs> this plan of mine might just work. Pretty music. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. This is my kind of plan. Gonna smack her around a bit, you know? Give her a wedgie. Put a kick me sign on her. You know what I'm saying? Council uh, Elders. And the last of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. This man's good looking too, man. The hell? Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of Great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do.
politics. <laughs> Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Arthur. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. Woo! <laughs> I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. Weren't right, the crystals... Listen. You guys were telling me that the crystals were how they have the flowers to power? Yeah. Answer by drawing ambient ether from the air. Where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Ups, the gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. I, <laughs> I was like, why don't you just say yeah? to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> the leather pants noise <laughs> i can't ever get over it so okay I got myself into i'm going to need more than a few potions for this oh but i still need some potions though because i'm so broke right now <laughs> um anarchy forever um didn't they explain in final fantasy 7 late recently that material came from crystals or something is that right am i thinking about that right Kind of, yeah. Okay. Does that, like, correlate with this kind of... That's what I felt like we were, like, slowly gonna be seeing, like, the making of materia, but I don't know if it's too early for that. 
I don't know. If everything we were taught about the Mother Crystals was a lie, then what else might we have been deceived about? We'll give you two a moment to sort out your kit. All right, let me go talk to uh, the lady over here. Just Final Fantasy reuses a lot of themes on. and ideas, but they're all connected, right? Like, in a way, the universe they live in is connected, but like, obviously, the stories aren't to connected. Send a message, most likely. But did she have to go Each game has different takes. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize that. I heard Otto barking at his okay, I didn't realize that, like. Was it? What do you Even it that the be? world that they live in is like different takes and like different ideas, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, okay, I think I understand what you guys are saying. They're not connected. They are different universes altogether. Okay. Didn't know that. Good to know. Good to know. Well, I'm not saying for you, dear. Ooh, that looks cool. Um, I would like your finest flame tongue, please. Four scratches, right? Yes, sir. Ooh, look how cool that sword looks. That's pretty sick. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Or a flam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot having... On second thoughts, I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, I love her. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it in tires bore bile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. Okay. Let me... Look at my gear real quick. Because we bought some new things. What's up, dude? So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. But that's gods for you, innit? Still, might in work it. to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. <laughs> that gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back, and she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. <laughs> the a fuck? Woman. Right. <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. What did he even give us? The fuck? <laughs> oh, 
All right. Good to know. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. He looks so Otto's creepy and high. Me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Let's have a look. Quick look. So these are just all the quests. I see. Think you can help? Gotcha. Well, well, well. Someone's in a hurry. Just Your mom's in a hurry. Orders. Funny, I never took you for the type. Can't all be as obedient as you, Gav. Eh? Just date already, guys. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> How cute. Kiss. Kiss. Little mischief. Wouldn't you say? Is this all of us? Actually, Gav won't be coming. Just the three of us, then. Drake said is the keystone of the Empire. Oriflam's in chaos, yes. But that doesn't mean we can march an army through her gates. The fewer our numbers, the better our chances of going unnoticed. And should that plan fail, well, we have our icons to fall back on. Sid, I... I don't know if I can. If Reed still seems to come and go as he pleases. Ordinarily, priming an icon comes naturally to a dominance. But then, you are no ordinary dominance. Thanks. Well, he's still <laughs> got the blessing of the Phoenix, doesn't he? Not to mention what he sucked out of Garuda. And did I ever tell you about how he was once the greatest shield in Rosaria? You know, I reckon he could probably cause a path out of the capital on his own if need be. Let's try not to find out. We're less likely to be spotted if we travel separately. I'll meet you in Northridge in a few days. You two behave now. What does that mean? <laughs> God, we look so cool. Look at the squad rolling out. <gasps> chocobo! Let me ride one, please, game. I wanna ride a chocobo. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? I wouldn't say safe. Look at the boy. At least now, it's possible. I wanna ride a is uh is rebirth gonna be the first final fantasy game where you can ride chocobos or is there another game where i can ride chocobos <laughs> oh i guess technically final fantasy 7 you can ride chocobos like obviously the og but it doesn't count the soldiers used to speak of a brothel but that was north of the checkpoint I hope the dame has friends in the south. It all smells so delightful. Oh, and the Fresh fish! All from the sea of rice. You there! We've the right to confiscate any objects forbidden by the throne. Why do you sound so loud? <laughs> Not another step, branded. Or you'll be spending the night in a cell. Wow, how nice. Are you gonna buy something or not? Hello. Do you see anything you like? What you got, girl? Any goodies? Ooh, why is it, why are they so expensive? Fifty k, sheesh. Come oh, back good. again. Here we go. Uh. A moment, my 
my lady. A moment. <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. The hell? My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred. Mommy? Clientel. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? I don't know how you I feel about this girl. Me, <laughs> yes, but why would you help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. What has Sid been up to? It, <laughs> I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Oh, I don't Unless. like that word. <laughs> Unless. <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes. That hey, yo, I'm taking, girl. <laughs> but I shall expect a favor in return. Wait. Why does she sound like that? <laughs> Her voice. <laughs> so now what? You gotta speak with her again? What's the point of that? What do I gotta do? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. So but she's gonna be our master? And no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Okay, bye, guys. Boy, hold up. What? She literally just... What do you want, bitch? <sighs> Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Get out of my sight, filth. Okay, bye. Love you. Thanks for insulting me. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, Yo, chill. if you care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. Don't think you do, my guy. All right. Poor gold, you see that? She's all over me. 
She doesn't realize that my heart belongs to you. Look at the boy. He's so good. He's so good. 